Hi, I'm Chris Smith with SolidBox bringing you a technical tip. Today, you're going to learn how to update your NVIDIA graphics card driver. Let's take a look. If you aren't already using the latest driver, you may get a message in SolidWorks informing you of this and telling you to update it. The first step is to determine which graphics card your system has. All SolidBoxes ship with cards from the NVIDIA Quadro line. You can find the exact model by right-clicking on the desktop and navigating to the NVIDIA control panel. Here you will find the graphics card model. I've got a Quadro K5100M and the driver version. My current driver is 390.77. Now let's go to NVIDIA's website to grab the latest driver. I'll just do a Google search for NVIDIA drivers. You want to make sure the search result you click on leads to NVIDIA's website. Here we are. The next step is to find your model. I'm using a laptop, so I will select Quadro and then Quadro Series Notebooks. My system has a K5100M and there it is. Now I'll select my operating system. I'm using Windows 10 64-bit. Keep the download type at Optimal Driver for Enterprise, or ODE. We're not interested in fancy new features as much as we are in stability. Hit search and there you are. Version 391.03 released on March 2nd. I'll hit the download button and since I'm not interested in filling out a survey, I'll click this link at the bottom that says skip and continue download. You can't download this without agreeing to NVIDIA's Terms of Service, so just hit that button that says Agree and Download. Looks like my download is done, so I'll click on it and then hit OK on the screen that pops up. After the compatibility check is done, very carefully read every single word of the license agreement with your lawyer present, or you can just hit agree and continue. Now this next step is important. We always recommend doing a clean install. This completely removes your existing driver and replaces it with a fresh installation of the latest driver. To do that, you'll need to select custom and then hit next. Now check the box that says perform a clean installation and hit next one last time. The install will take a few minutes and your screen will probably flash a few times and look generally weird while it's happening. Don't be alarmed, that's normal. Okay, looks like we're done. You can see the driver version is now 391.03, so just hit the close button and you're good to go. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more technical tips in the future and feel free to reach out to us anytime using the contact info listed below.